game pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high. You ain't see me stack. I'm a snide. How you fall? So you get right back. This is Welcome to Demon School, Irmacoon Season 3, Episode 14. Let's dive right into it and see what's popping off. Yeah, buddy. Lee got his work cut out for him this episode, man. We'll have to see how it play out, but he got to put in he got to put in some hard work this time. Let's get it. Episode 14 Leads Distress. <laughs> oh, this is new. We we never done anything like this before. Oh, man, I thought it was like a legit review of uh, the episode. <laughs> and that's not the case. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, now here we go. Knock, knock. <laughs> yeah, see, now this is a legitimate review. Well, y'all ain't gonna win, but y'all get some points, I guess. He's now being hunted, though. Why did you tell everybody? Come on, lead. Come on, man. You had one job. You had one job. Come on, lead. Boy, don't fall for this crap, man. Mm. I love you the most or something. And he gonna fall for it. Wait, what? And that, is that what made you give her the cup with the vase? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Lee. Okay. Well, then don't give her the freaking boss. Vase. 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 Come on, Lee. Oh, 
Oh, it, oh crap, I'm tripping. It was, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, there was no way ex Elizabeth said that, man. Oh, I forgot about dude, man. I forgot about his power. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, my bad lead. Okay, I'm, I apologize, man. Let's go, let's go. You're annoying me more than anything. <laughs> Let's go, Lee. Let's go. Come on, Lee. You got this. Oi. Oi. But how did the ripple turn into a heart? Oh, you fool. They're not even the ones that took the vase. Oh, my gosh. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'm concentrating, I'm concentrating. <laughs> this is not the time for this, man. <laughs> but they don't have the vase lead Oh my gosh. Lee, this is not the time for this, man. We got so much more important things going on. I'm so happy. <laughs> Well, that's true, of course.
Are they going after Irma? <laughs> if, if your nose wasn't bleeding, I'd be more inclined to believe you, man. Like you just want to see now. <laughs> see, I have a, I have a good excuse. <laughs> And that hit him, Ray. Uh, come on, Lee. <laughs> well, Emma just told you that, you know, <laughs> you fool oh lead come on man okay so they're going after some of the, the other stragglers Where are they going? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Well, I mean, it is every man for themselves, so. That's a nice picture. But anyway, it is every man for themselves, so. Well, I mean, it is every man for themselves, so them attacking the castle makes sense. Those are free points they could take. <laughs> Warning, man. <laughs> Look, wait a minute. This was my place, and y'all came here. Oh, they done had hot pot and everything else, and they just act like this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. I mean, I get it, though. I wouldn't give up my points either, but. I mean, I guess it's nice that they, they decide to stand up for themselves. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, my, that's my train of thought.
Uh, fine. <laughs> well, that's that's smooth. I guess. Okay, I see you. Well, they're not going down without a fight, so. Well, I mean, they ain't backing down, though, so, I mean, that's good, I guess. Oh, or to use his powers or whatever. Oh, shoot. He's just going straight after this man. <laughs> wow. He just... <laughs> He just straight trash this man. That is smooth, though. They got the animals on their side, and they're... That's actually kind of smart when you think about it. Nice. It went black and white like old school. Old school. Come on, man. Let's go. You know, with the grainy footage, the black and white. Like the old samurai and ninja movie. Come on, man. That's, that's great right there. Your win, friends. Ooh, a new technique. Nice. I'm loving the black and white, too, though, man. He got he got all the women now. <laughs> I knew he was gonna be upset. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew he was going to be upset. Say what now? Oh, because they took down one of the other ones, right? Garp took down one of the other ones.
Oh, she is doing the most. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it looks like a scroll. Let's go, man. You know what? They done their thing with this episode, man. Sue, keep my eye. Wait, what? <laughs> Pinky Poco Rancho. <laughs> okay okay man okay this episode was nice man like i really love like the visual aspect of this episode in my opinion like the parts where we we see garp in the black and white you know it's like old school um japan style you know filming and footage or whatever like from the old black and white samurai movies or ninja movies like perfection in my opinion then the ending part where like their whole towards action battle pose kind of ended up on the scroll it, it looked fantastic it was great um the episode itself was nice man i still the whole lead aspect i apologize to lead man because i kind of jumped on his ship a little bit but i knew that wasn't the real ex elizabetta in the moment you know what i'm saying and then i kind of forgot at the same time but i knew there was something off about it but he lost the vast vast vase I don't know which one is the correct term, but anyway, he lost it and then he was trying to get it back. Then he found out that they were in a hot spring uh, and, you know, it kind of, he kind of just lost track in that moment. Like in that particular moment, he kind of lost track of everything that he was supposed to be doing. And then we end up with the rest of the half of the episode, which is, uh, <laughs> Carolee and Kamui and, um, Agnes and Garp fighting, you know, because, Kettley wants the, was it a mansion, the castle? She wants the castle in all of their points. So she's power hungry now. She's on her whole trip. Garp out here saving, saving the people from the castle. Like, it was a great episode. It was fun. And it kind of took it to like to something different. You know what I'm saying? Because like, we've been dealing with this whole part about the Harvest Festival and different aspects of it. But now we got a full-fledged fight. And the sad thing is, is because they're not going to be eliminated because they're not actually attacking the people. You know what I'm saying? Curly is sending the monsters or her and Kamui are sending the monsters after the people and Garp is attacking the monster. He's not attacking the people because you know, you can't attack someone. And if you do, then you're going to be, you know, um, you're going to be made to forfeit or quit or whatever, or, or kick expunge. It's, it, Anyway, the word you're going to be kicked out of uh, the Harvest Festival. So it's nice to see that, like, even though they have this full fledged war going on, they can't actually attack. So they chose to have the monsters attack for them, which was nice and smart at the same time. Overall, episode was great. And like I said, visually, it was fantastic in those certain moments and certain parts in this episode that I really, really love. This is really incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button so you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them. And subscribe. And remember, the anime matters. Anime is greatness and anime is life. Peace out.